Hey guys, so we are in a kind of a wishwash of a game. We've got some low gold players, some bronze players, some silver players, uh, and <laughs> we're just kind of getting in here. I'm going to be again showing you guys heroes that are great in low ranks. Sylvanas is one of my favorites, uh, and a lot of you guys have been wanting to see more assassin videos. So this kind of shows you guys a little bit of assassin gameplay, a little bit um, as far as the the playing in low ranks and I'll be talking through what I'm doing as I'm doing it <clears throat> for the most part and doing what I can to show you guys how we're playing out looking at their team they do have uh, two beefy frontliners nothing that I can really burst in the front line um, and so I'm gonna focus on a sustain build we've seen the Q build before and <laughs> it's the uh, the Rio Kai variant so we've got the Q talent uh, 1, 7, 13, Remorseless, and the rest of it's pretty straightforward. So, overall, that is about it. I'm not too worried about what my team does here. Um, I, I think we want more damage because of the, uh, the Mouth Ale, but I'm not really here for uh, trying to tell my team what they should and shouldn't be doing. I'm actually just going to immediately hit lane. I don't have a quest that I need to do, and I would rather just get Soak immediately. Um... So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to probably be blowing up the first wave immediately as fast as possible. This means I'm going to be using my E as well. So the goal here is to blow it up as fast as possible. I don't have any great talents for this, um, but my reasoning for this is I want them to lose a soak. Oh, unfortunately, they didn't do it. Now, I really... We missed a wave of soak and they didn't, which is really unfortunate, but we're going to have to make it up. Uh, but I'll, I'll just burst a little bit. <clears throat> Take a tower shot. It's not a big deal. So we didn't miss too much. Maybe half a wave. Looks like Falstead still was able to get something. I'm going to work on zoning out this Jaina now. The goal here is if I can zone her out of experience, then uh, then we'll stay ahead. Actually, since this guy is going to be holding bot, I'm going to go get a camp. Because, I, I honestly, like we only need so much soak, so we don't need to go crazy with it. And these camps would be really valuable. So when starting the camp, I'm going to be focusing one of these, using my Q and taking it out. Because you can't avoid damage against these. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try to kill one first, so I'm taking less damage once my passive ends. Because, again, you can't avoid damage on these. So make sure that your Q is only hitting one of the targets. And we may end up needing to get a, uh, a fountain here. Because until 4, you can't solo this camp. Oh, that's unfortunate. My Q hit something else. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to back. We're going to get it low. Actually, we're going to help our team out. Hit a fountain. It's really late for a fountain, but... Uh, And now we have Merc Queen, so it's a lot easier to do this. So we can actually solo camps now, which is going to be really nice for us. So we're going to pick this up. Uh, we're actually going to hold it for a minute. And my reason for that is I want this pushing during the objective, I think. Ah, no, we'll probably just immediately pick it up. So we won't have a fountain, though. That's the biggest challenge here, is that during the objective, we won't have a fountain... Um, but let's just figure out when we want to pick this up. We're soaking all three lanes right now. We're in a good spot experience-wise. Literally half a level above them, even though they did get some front walls on us. Uh, we're going to pick this up right now. And then we're going to head over and see if we can't push with it a little bit. The enemies aren't on the, uh, the point yet. I have an escape with my E, and we're getting some good kills, so this should be a pretty good spot for us. We can either push in, or I can push with the objective a little bit, turn off some structures, give it the bonus damage, um, but we'll see how we want to play this out. If our team wants to go in, they certainly can, but... <clears throat> so we're going to turn off structures here. But it looks like my team wants to fight, so I'm going to join my team. You should always prioritize your team first, especially in the early game, because your team's going to start raging anyways, so you don't, you never want that to happen. You always want your team to feel like you're going to be there for them, uh, even when you're not. So we, we are stutter-stepping, as you can see. 
We want to make sure that we're up with the enemies. Uh, we are picking up Barb Shot. And we're going to just melt him down a little bit. We're going to hold this point pretty well. When he comes in, we're just going to kill him. We don't have our Q available, but that doesn't matter. We still do so much damage. We'll take out two people. And that's the first objective in our hands pretty easily. Uh, as well as that is the middle fort that we took out from timing that camp correctly. So despite the fact that I had a little bit of an awkward early and I should have picked up a fountain before I went for that camp, uh, the timing of that camp and joining our team at the right time allowed us to get a really huge objective. Um, and this objective is going to push really, really hard. I'm actually going to head bottom here with this objective. And the big thing here is I'm not going to push. And the reason I'm not going to push is because I want the big wave here. I don't want this wave to just die to structures and then we get this big wave. So do you see how I'm waiting? I want this wave and now I'm going to push. It's really important and it doesn't seem that important, but it's actually super important that you do that. You want this big wave here. So the first thing here is we're going to just turn off some structures. Safest way is using your W. Um, but the unsafe way and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to simply just auto attack and go back and forth. So I still have anything, uh, my escape ready if I need it. I just auto attack and stutter step, get a really low. I might actually head in here, see if I can't get some extra damage in. Um, but we're going to just head back, finish this thing off. Remember that as long as your Q hits the same target, you do bonus damage on the last strike. So I'm using my Q to take out the, uh, the fort. And we're starting this game off really, really strong. We're going to take her out. We have the ability to turn off structures again, but uh, we're not going to do it. Because I don't really want to have a really bad fight right before tens. We did hit tens, but um, still. We're just going to head over. <laughs> we're going to head over. We're going to see if we can't get a... Uh, do we have Gust? We do have Gust. Right on. This is going to be a pretty good one for us. So we have Gust available. They don't know what lane we went to. And there shouldn't be any vision on this. And we have Gust. So we're just going to rip this as fast as possible. Only really need a stutter step if you are doing it for practice. And then we're going to tell the team... We're going to tell the team keep. The reason that you want to do a keep in a situation when you are you have a level 10 lead is because you'll win the team fight. And you want to force team fights that you're going to win. The safe way is going for the... Uh, and I have the ability to turn off structures, so that helps as well. We're going to take out two people here, burn them down, and now we've got a nice healthy boss. And my next set for my Q will just melt this thing down. But I'm actually going to use it on this guy, I think. Nah. You can't end the game on a single keep, so we're going to just back off and we're going to clear up mid. Trading a keep for a fort is almost always a good thing. Super important to get your team away. My reason why I want to get my team away is if you can't end the game, there's no point in giving them a free kill. I'm not going to use my trait here. I should be able to kill all these off relatively easily. Eh, maybe not. I'll use my trait. I hate that I have to use my trait, but I don't want to lose any more from this. This is sketchy. I told them to get back, but that's fine. We're going to grab this camp. So the important thing about doing camps when you have Merc Queen... I am lagging, actually. This is unfortunate. Oh, this is unfortunate. She just led him to us. Uh, we're going to have to give the camp then. You just give everything here. We don't really need to do anything. Um, this is actually super risky. 
Oh, and I'm my ult. Eh, maybe this works. Yeah, this should work. Nice. So I do have Remorseless now. I am really scary, and I got some amazing healing from our uh, Morales. So we're just gonna melt this guy down. He should die real quick. And we're gonna melt down this guy. They did get an objective. Um, next time, I really hope my team does listen to me. We don't need a chase here. Mid's the most important to save, but the biggest wave is going to be top lane. So we need to make sure to clear up top. Uh, and I mean, there's a million ways to do it. But I'm just going to head up here and uh, start clearing. The, the only way we really lose here is if we just lose repetitive team fights. We're still so far ahead. We've got keeps and everything. So after I kill this, I'm just going to back off because we've got a keep. And I want to join my team. Same rules apply for teams. I want to make sure that I'm with my team. I want to make sure that they trust me to be with my team. He actually could have just immediately moshed there if he wanted. Um, I could go in on this. And I'm going to. Um, now we're going to head down and we're going to get boss. We have Gust and this should be free. Do you see like when I'm doing boss fights, uh, I'm making sure to look at our resources first. I want to see what we have available. I do it after we kill someone. I make sure that we've got every tool needed to not only win the fight, but even if we struggle in the fight, we can cheese the boss even if we lose it. Uh, because Gust is just such an easy answer to get the boss. So, uh, we're going to head over. Foul mid, then to us. Uh, I'm telling my, my foul stat to go cover mid. And us to go for here. We've got a level 16 lead. My team's not following. Pay attention. Make sure that you can j join your team. You never want to do a play. Even though that was the correct play, we would have gotten a keep for free the same way that we got top keep. Uh, if your team's not listening to your calls, no worries. Always make sure that you're using, uh, you're adapting to your team because your teams are going to make bad decisions sometimes. And the best thing to do in that situation is adapt so that you just don't end up dying for no reason. Um, so I'm, I'm really struggling on this because my ping's a little bit higher than I'm expecting. So I keep right clicking on things and, uh, the attacks, the swapping targets isn't happening until later. Uh, so this is a good fight. I mean, here's the thing. We're getting good fights now just because we've got such a huge experience lead and the game's just essentially free, but we can't just give it up yet. We've got a nice camp pushing. We're going to get a boss for free. Uh, this boss is going to allow us to get the objective for free. We just need to stay grouped up. It doesn't mean that this game is free. <clears throat> Ooh, this is actually a great fight for us. I just can't be the first one going in. And I also don't want to get hit by the... Uh, that. We're going to take him out. We're going to head over here. And we've got our thing back, so we're good. I'm just going to melt her down. Save my Q for a second. We need to just channel this. Once we've got this channeled, we're good. Now they're forced to come to us. We've got that 16 lead. We've got the advantages we want. We're just going to keep auto attacking. We need to get that uh, those three procs on him so we start spreading all of our damage out. And look at that damage we're doing. I'm going to head out. Join my foul stat on this. And we don't want this. Uh, we don't want to lose anything here. We've got a boss pushing on core. They have to deal with that. This objective is very free for us. And there's my crit. A lot of damage. I'm going to head back. Guarantee that we've got this objective. Do you see how I'm, I'm not wasting any time? I'm not sitting anywhere that isn't getting me any value. I'm just constantly either helping clear this so that my Falstead takes less damage. Or I'm just constantly dealing damage to the enemies. Nothing crazy. I'm going to use my E to get out. 
And we're actually just going to get out here. He doesn't get the uh, the proc on me, and I'm just going to walk right away from this. Uh, looks like this Lucio is really going for her, but that shouldn't do anything. In fact, I could do a lot of damage to him. So here we want to be heading for bot lane if we can. The goal for bot lane is you want to have uh, you want to have keeps in opposite lanes, and they're gonna have to defend top. So they're gonna have to split here. So we want to see if we can't get a kill here. Ah, he missed the slide. No worries. We're gonna head bot. Okay, <laughs> we really need to be pushing forward here. This would have been a lot easier if we had this keep, but hey, you know, no judgment. I'm doing a ridiculous amount of damage to these guys, so I'm not too worried. Oh, we'll just head out here. I really wish we had more people, but it's unfortunate. It's okay, though. Just making the game a lot longer. A lot of times, like, people don't like listening to random silver players, especially since it appears that these guys are in a team. Um, so they don't really want to listen to me. So it's making this game last a lot longer. But again, it's not a big deal. The goal is to play consistent. As long as you're playing consistent, it does not matter. Like, you can be playing with people that are making all the wrong calls, but if you play consistent, you're going to win a lot more than you lose. What I mean by playing consistent... Uh, wait for 20 to fight. <clears throat> we don't really need to wait for 20, but we do hit 20 first. So we should actually win a team fight if they try to force it here. Um, so let's head down here. Ooh, they are split. We get a kill here. Boom. Easy kill. I wasn't actually expecting this. I don't know why they're splitting up right here, but that's that's really good for us. Let's get this. We're 20s, so this should be pretty free, and I can turn off structures. Actually, what am I thinking? Let's get boss real quick. Boss, boss, boss. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We don't want to split. We don't want to split. Make a decision. That's the big thing. So I, I wanted the object, or I wanted keep because that's easy. Um, with uh, when you've got a lead like this, but this is actually easier. And this will likely get us keep. And we do have Gust, so this is going to be really good for us. We do want to spread a little bit, though. I don't want to be right next to my team. And now that I'm not with my team, I took no damage and I didn't get rooted. We're going to just send in an ult here, finish him off, and then we're going to head up and start... Uh, we can actually end the game. With that kill, we can end the game. We don't really need the objective for this. I mean, if Varian really wants to waste his time on it, he can go for it. Looks like we're missing Morales, though. Again, this is where we adapt our strategy. So if you're missing more than a couple people, just be careful, because this could turn out real bad real fast. Now, I don't need extra healing, um, because I have answers to this. Um, but, unfortunately, the other two are going to need that healing. And that'll kill the Jaina. And this should kill the... Uh... Uh, no, I guess it won't. Oh, sorry about the camera work. A um, little rusty, to be honest. Been taking a break for homework. Uh, that was my notification, not yours. And this should be relatively easy. All we just have to do is keep dealing damage consistently, safely... And we end the game. Great gust. And that is it. So that's what you do when it kind of goes back and forth. When people don't want to listen to you. When you struggle a little bit at points. You just keep your head in the game. You don't try to suicide to save your team. You just let your team die. You recoup. You always look for finding some way to get advantages. And you just push with those advantages. When you have leads, you need to get something. If you don't get something, then you're just going to be... the just like all the other bronze and silver players who never know when to to like push a lead. Most people can win games when they're ahead. The problem is is that they just let the enemies come back. So uh, I'm going to go into try mode really quick and I'm going to show you guys the build that I am using and what I recommend. Um, 
you should have been able to see the build, but I'll just show you really quick why I do it and the few things that you need to understand when you're doing this build. So one of my favorite <laughs> reasons for playing Sylvanas and picking her early, because I actually did have to first pick this game. My team just didn't know what they wanted to do. Uh, I love Sylvanas as a first pick, primarily because she does physical and spell damage. She does a hybrid of those and a decent chunk of both. And the cool part about that is you will be able to do... Uh, they can't just get a bunch of armor. They can't just get a bunch of spell... Uh, uh, spell armor, right? I don't know. Magic armor. Whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's just really, really powerful. The other thing is if you can dodge all the CC, uh, this build is in extremely tanky for a backliner. So no one can really jump in the backline uh, because you're going to be healing for 15% of the damage you're doing. And what's happening is you are applying a lot of damage because you're hitting two to three targets at a time. So your DPS is about, <clears throat> let's say, 800 DPS. And you're healing for 15% of that 800 DPS. So you're effectively healing yourself for 200 um, a little bit more than that, but uh, I guess a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, 900 DPS. So about 200 health per second. So you're really, really hard to kill, assuming you don't get bursted. And because you're in the back line and always waiting for them to use a couple abilities first. So the big things that you need to know on Sylvanas is the stutter stepping. Honestly, like 90% of what I did in that game was just stutter stepping around towards their team when they were running away, away from their team when they were charging in, and just focused on that. And I was able to melt down their front line whenever they tried to go in and just pretty much wreck through them. Then other than that, um, when the enemies got grouped or if we were trying to follow, <laughs> follow up on someone with a major CC, I fired off an ult and then I used all of my abilities to finish them off. If the fight ever got weird and I wanted to do more damage, I fired off my E, did some damage, and then jumped away. And that's how I pretty much ended that game without a single death. And then finally... Um, the only other thing that you really need to know is just your burst potential in the cases that you may want to jump in. So if you saw there were a few times that I jumped in, well at level 20, what is your burst damage if you jump in? Most likely you're jumping in where they have three marks on them. So you jump in, you hit, auto attack, and Qs, boom. 3,000, give or take. I mean, we have to take away three shots because they did fire off there. So 3,000 minus three auto attacks is 2,500 damage. So if you get someone down to about 2,000, let's say 2,000 health, uh, feel free to jump in if you're in a situation where you can safely do so, and you'll be able to get an extra kill, as we saw that I did that a few times. And that is Sylvanas in low ranks. So there you go, guys. That's kind of the idea that you want to look for when you are playing Sylvanas in low ranks if you guys have any questions uh feel free to ask in the comments down below and feel free to check out any of my other videos thank you guys so much